Hey everybody, Will here from MachineLoveUs.com. So today I am going back to the email uh, generation topic that I've been talking about the past several videos. Uh, I wanted to show you that I was able to generate this email, right? Uh, here's the data. This is some text we can safely edit, plus uh, some content just from using AWS Lambda. We talked about that in previous videos, how to set that up. And, um, and using the MailChimp API. So this is an email that I generated uh, last night. It generates automatically uh, around 10 p.m., I think, <clears throat> every day. And so I just log in and I can see I deleted my other ones. I sent out my first uh, email this past uh, Saturday night and so yesterday, Sunday, another one auto-generated for me. Okay, so at 9.50 um, p.m., it generates this email using the Lambda. So last time, um, I wound up not being able to figure out how to get the HTML to work with the MailChimp API. And I figured that out. So that's what I'm going to go through today. But you could see... Um, this is draft email. Now, what's what's bad about this is that I don't get the text box anymore. Once you uh, export HTML from Mailchimp, and I'll show you how I did that again, uh, you no longer get that nice um, editing. So the editing that I need to do, and I don't need to do much. So you want to set this up if you do set it up, so that you just do very light editing. Um, after the fact, but but I can go into the code here and change. Uh, you know, this is some text that we could safely edit to. Uh, here's the text that I want to send uh, in this email. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get back that nice kind of feel in Mailchimp where I can move things around. But uh, it works for me in that I can generate this information. And so with AWS Lambda, I can also send emails out. I'm not going to do that uh, for this video because I don't want to automatically send things. I want to be able to review them myself. But as a data product, um, what I could do is, if people sign up for this service, if you're interested in, in getting newsletter content, uh, you can sign up and have this newsletter content sent to you um, via your email. You receive it however many times a month. So if I was to edit this, this is what I don't get. But essentially what, what I did here is you make the template how you want it in the MailChimp API. And then, you know, you add whatever you need to. And then you can export it as HTML. And that HTML is the basis for uh, the campaign that we'll send. And so you can get any kind of HTML um, input, input any kind of HTML, and that can serve as the basis of the newsletter. So this doesn't just have to work for MailChimp. So I export that as HTML. And then I go back to my code base here. And so this is the script that generates uh, that generates the automatic email. I'm not going to go through it extensively because I've gone through it in other videos. But what I couldn't figure out last time is how to get the actual CSS working. And I figured that out by importing uh, from string import template and then um, setting the HTML as a string template. So what this does is um, I open the HTML that I was just showing you. It's actually here. It's a whole bunch of just HTML that MailChimp has generated. And in this HTML, like there's so much here, I don't know what's going on. I can put a little reference variable and this is where the content that I'm generating in other parts of the script will, will be filtered into here. So I generate all of this data um, using my script and grab the articles and turn them into a string. 
and then into the index uh, HTML, I change that into uh, a template, a string template. And then I use this safe substitute method. And the safe su substitute method gets around the problem that I had last time where I, um, where the CSS was being read as a Python dictionary. And that was the, that was the issue. So this goes out. So you could see what's going on here. My uh, subject line is the data science newsletter and it generates for the date, uh, which is right now. I, you know, your reply to me, will at machinelovelist.com. It says it's from Will. The type is regular. I pass in that data into the MailChimp API and it sends this message out into my drafts. So I have this set up so that I can actually run it locally. So here I am at the terminal. And if I just go into um, where this lives and run my core.py file, what you can see is that it goes through the subreddits where I'm collecting this data, finds the articles, and then it will shift it out. So right now what has happened is in my uh, MailChimp campaigns, I should have a new data science newsletter, and I do. And it's populated with all of the data um, that I want. And so I review this, prep it for email, and then send it out. So that is the service. This is the data product. And in the next uh, video or sets of videos, I'm gonna wrap this up by putting a landing page and having folks sign up. If you wanna sign up for this service where you can get newsletter content, it could be any kind of content we can pull from Reddit and other sources, aggregate that. Um, this could be a kind of service that you can offer to individuals. So if you are building uh, a kind of newsletter system, um, what we can do is set this up for you and get emails to you um, every X, Y, Z times a month. Um, so this is the power of automation. Um, these are the kinds of things that you can do with Python and some APIs. So this used AWS Lambda and it used uh, the MailChimp API. So uh, tune in for more videos. We're gonna wrap this up in uh, the next several videos. And then there's an exciting new project uh, that's coming up afterwards. But if you're interested in newsletter content, newsletter generation, reach out to me at will at machinelovest.com. Sign up for the newsletter at machinelovest.com. Um, and let me know what you think, everybody. So have a great day.